Hey there guys and welcome back to another Doctor Who Big Finish review and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a couple of audios which I unboxed a few days ago and uh, that particular audio, well those particular audios are Blood of the Daleks Parts 1 and 2 and today I thought I'd talk about them as a lot of people uh, were interested in uh, my review so I thought I'd uh, talk about it. I actually listened to this uh, the day the actual CDs arrived and so without any further ado, let's have a look at part so yes, one. So here is Blood of the Daleks, part one, and it's written by the brilliant Steve Lyons, who is highly regarded and very popular in the Doctor Who uh, fandom. He's written a lot of very well-known Doctor Who books, uh, such as The Murder Game, The Final Sanction, uh, Killing Ground, etc., um, and The Stealers of Dreams. And uh, he's, I think he's written quite a few Big Finish audios. I'm not sure what other ones he's written, but uh, yes, I know this is this is definitely one of them. And it stars Paul McGann as the Eighth Doctor and uh, Sheridan Smith as Lucy Miller, who is his companion who lasted for about four seasons. So you can tell she's very popular. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, the cover design is really nice. I really like that red uh, Dalek effect. Um, really well put together. Uh, here's the the cast um, featuring Kenneth Gran Granham, uh, Anita Dobson, Hayley Atwell with Nicholas Briggs as the Daleks and then we have the back uh, with the blurb and the cast so if you want to um, read the blurb you can I'm, I'm sure the camera quality is good uh, for that. Um, now unfortunately um, when I got this uh, it sort of broke a little bit um, which is annoying because some big finish CDs tend to break um, what I mean by that is uh, that happens. So yeah, that's that's a bit unfortunate. Um, one of the cool things about this particular release is, is that um, actually I won't bother to pull it out, but it's actually a poster, um, and I think that's really cool. Nice little feature. And here is uh, the disc, which looks really nice. It's got a nice John Pertwee uh, vortex effect, and um, on the back of that disc, you can just uh, see more advertisements for. Uh, the like other big finish releases um, so yes now I'm going to talk a little bit about Blood of the Daleks um, yes this is an absolutely fantastic two part Doctor Who story and uh, basically the Daleks involvement in this is that they arrive on a planet called Red Rocket Rising which sounds completely ridiculous for a planet like like a name of a planet um, and they are offering to help the refugees and so you can sort of see the like similarities between uh, power and the evil of the Daleks. I think more so with the evil of the Daleks because the Daleks in this story are very cunning and they they are pretending to be all helpful. But in the end, it doesn't take long for them to for the people to actually realise that they are in fact uh, deadly menacing machines and. Um, so part one is very much uh, introducing us to the characters and uh, the new companion and I think Lucy Miller, Lucy Miller is great, I think Sheridan Smith does such a great job and she's sort of similar to Rose um, but she's not as clingy as Rose was, uh, she's more of like a series one Rose, uh, she's very real, um, the Time Lords have basically thrown Lucy Miller into the story and the Doctor is basically forced to look after her in a sense um, and uh, the original idea was that uh, the Time Lords were going to throw in another female Time Lord for the Doctor and uh, they decided to just go completely out of the blue and um, throw a human in there uh, from Earth so yeah um, yeah, she's very similar to Rose uh, uh, completely different backstory though uh, but in terms of character she's very similar and um, yeah, she's great, and I think with this story, we are very much thrown into the action. There's no messing around. It's very much uh, this is how the new series is going to play out for the Eighth Doctor, and I think it's done really, really well because obviously we've had the Eighth Doctor and Charlie Pollard in the sort of main range monthly, monthly main range, um, but now this is the full-on series, and uh, the main sort of story arc is the Headhunter, who I'll talk about in the second part um, but yeah part one is very good you can see the Daleks being very very sly and what's great about this story is that the pacing goes by incredibly quickly um, I think one of the problems that I had with this story is that I didn't really want it to end 
Um, but like I said, I'll talk about that in um, uh, the second part. Uh, but yeah, the Daleks are brilliant in this. I really like Kenneth Cranham's performance. Um, I thought he was a really good character because uh, he sort of um, uh, sort of knew what the Daleks were about and, and had heard of them. And um, yeah, there's also a professor type character and uh, she's basically created a new sort of type of Dalek. She's created loads of these new types of Daleks and they sort of have different emotions and these particular Daleks see those Daleks as a bit of a threat because they these Daleks believe that those impure Daleks uh, should be exterminated as the blood of the Daleks should remain pure um, but uh, yeah that's very much sort of um, part one of the story and it's, it's really good re great cliffhanger and like I said really fast paced so now let's talk about so part yes, two. Here's part two of Blood of the Daleks again vet words it's a completely different cover and um, I think I believe uh, Paul McGann's son fe has featured in this as I think his name's Jake McGann uh, I'm not sure if that's correct but I'm sure somebody will uh, fulfill me on that information um, so yes as you can see we have a nice green cover um, it, the cast is exactly the same uh, as you can see on the back uh, I'll give you a chance to uh, to read uh, the blurb there um, but yes uh, Kenneth Granham's uh, character is uh, Tom uh, Cardwell I think it is uh, yeah, Tom Cardwell, and like I said, I really liked his character. I thought he was really well written, and uh, like I said, he knows about the Daleks. And uh, it, this is sort of similar to a lot of 80s Doctor Who, uh, in the sense that there are two sort of Dalek factions, like I said, with you've got the impure Daleks, and then you've got um, also the, the proper, you know, deadly killing machine Daleks, and there's like a little battle between the two. Um, and I think... But I, I, one of the things that I was worried about this is that uh, I was worried that uh, it might not be a, like it might not pick up like the pacing might slow down a little bit. But I was completely wrong. The pacing picks up, and it, I just couldn't believe that I sat through two uh, audios um, when I finished listening to it. I didn't really didn't want it to end um, because I I just loved it so much, and um, I really did like this Dalek story um, I think the Daleks are given like amazing dialogue they are like I said, very sly very manipulative and to see the Doctor and uh, well to see Lucy Miller thrown into this um, really dark bleak environment was I think a really good idea and of course this is an eight um, this Season the first season contains eight stories. I'm not sure if it's like that for the rest, you know, like season two, three, and four. Um, but uh, I think I really like the idea that they went out with a full two part story so that the audience had to wait for a while um, for the second part uh, if they didn't buy them together, if that makes sense. And I, I think that's really a really great idea. And to get Steve Lyons to write. The first, oh, like the opening story, I thought was a, a, a good move because Steve Lyons is uh, a genius. I think he's one of the best writers, and I really hope they actually get him to write a television episode. I'm not sure what the last bit of Doctor Who work he did. I'm not sure what that was, but uh, I'll try and uh, research it if I can. Uh, like I said, Steve Lyons is brilliant. He, he's such a good writer. And I think Paul McGann gives a great performance, as does Sheridan Smith. And I really liked the supporting cast. Now, as for the the headhunter, which is like the sort of the like the arc, I guess, for this series. Uh, her job is basically to she is sent out to try and kill and track down Lucy Miller, ba Lucy Miller basically. Um, stuttered a little bit there. And uh, I think she, the actress who plays her, does a absolutely fantastic job I know she's only in it for a tiny bit in this story but I can't wait to experience more of her and um, see what she's like in other stories because uh, I, I think she's definitely in the finale of this series and I think she's also in series 2 I'm not sure about series 3 but um, yes I'm really looking forward to listening to more Paul McGann stories 
Um, so yeah, I guess that was my review of Blood of the Daleks parts 1 and 2. Um, like I said, definitely check out this two-part story. Uh, if I have to give it a rating, it'll definitely be um, a 10 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic. And I think it's a really great jumping on point for people who are trying to get into Big Finish. If you've got a, like a little collection, then try and get this one because um, I think this story is absolutely amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's a really fast paced and it features the Daleks. So if you love the Daleks, definitely check out this. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this review. And uh, I shall see you soon for what might be an unboxing of the next Paul McGann stories in the series. We'll have to see. But yes, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon.